Hello, we wanted to do a quick video talking about trend lines and reverse use of trend lines. In front of us is the uh, daily chart of PAGS, P-A-G-S. We had successfully did a trade for our pro traders here where we had the oversold technometer, gave us a buy signal on a backup to a creek. And then we also had an overbought technometer which gave us a sell take profit. So now we've been watching this stock to try to figure out another entry point. So to do that, we want to throw in some downtrend lines to see how uh, we look. The obvious downtrend line would be from here to here. So we use those two points. Let's make that blue. Then let's duplicate that. And then this trend line then is going to be placed here at this point which is the low point between these two supply points on the supply line of the downtrend. So you can see here we broke this downward stride here, so possibly we're making a low. To do a reverse use of trend lines, we would actually go from this low over to this low. Use those two points. Let's make that light blue. Duplicate that. And then you can see this line is placed parallel from this point here, the rally point between these two support points. Now that gives us a uh, supply line here that actually we've been respecting for the last week and something that would keep us still on the sidelines looking for lower until that downtrend line is taken out. Now let's show the same thing for a uptrend on keys, K-E-Y-S. This is a stock that we had a buy signal back here as marked. We had an oversold technometer. We had price going down. Excuse me, we had volume going down while price was higher. This gave us a buy signal, then we went to new highs. So if we're looking at that, we would probably throw a trend line in at this level. That trend line is done from two support points here and here, and then draw a parallel line off of this point. That gives us our uptrend line, which uh, contained the price action very well. Or we could actually go from this overbought point to this overbought point. Let's make that one green and extend it. Take the two high points. Then let's duplicate that, run it off of the lowest point parallel between those two points, which is here. And actually then when it breaks the uptrend line, it does that at the same point. So they're either use of normal trend lines or reverse. Some will give us the same type of thing, but gives us a little bit different look. But definitely we broke these uptrend lines came back and kissed the trend lines, and then fell out, showing us that we're in some type of distribution phase here, or possible reaccumulation. Thank you.